In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a prayer request form to your church website using Web Starts. Here you can see that I've added a form to my site. It's fairly simple. It only asks for three things, your name, email address, and the prayer request itself. Now, once this prayer request is submitted, it can be sent to a number of different people and you can specify that in the Web Starts form builder. I'm going to show you how I did that right now. Here I am in the Web Starts page editor view. You can find this by logging into your Web Starts account and then choosing to edit your site from the dashboard. The app that we're going to use to create this prayer request form is called the Form Builder app. You can select it under the Apps panel. Next, I'm going to choose the fields that I would like to appear in my form. I'm choosing name, email address, and paragraph text, but I want to relabel paragraph text to be labeled prayer requests. So I select it and then I simply enter the new title to my paragraph text in the field provided. Now notice under the form settings tab that you can specify who will receive this prayer request. So this would be the person who would be answering the submissions that come in through the prayer request form. You can add additional emails by clicking on this button here and then just entering the email address for the people that you would like to receive the prayer request forms in the field provided. There are also a few other options. For example, once a prayer request form is submitted, you can send people to a specific page on your site if you'd like to do that. If you leave it blank, they'll just receive a basic message saying that the form was submitted. You can also add people to a mailing list Web Starts comes complete with a email marketing system that will allow you to send follow-up emails to anybody who filled out this form, provided you specify the email list where you'd like them to go. When you're ready, just insert your form onto the page, and then you can use the handles to either resize your form or drag and drop your form where you would like it to appear. Finally, you're ready to click Save and Publish, and then that form is published to your live website. And now you have a simple prayer request form right on your church website. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to visit webstarts.com to see more videos like this.